Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart of Sign and Black in again asking you to hit that uh, share button first. Like and subscribe benefit me, share benefits all. Thank you for hitting either one of them. Here's the deal, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this is part two of the responses to um, the famous shaming tactic, which would be um, who hurt you? And there's one thing I forgot to mention. We know that it is a shaming tactic used. I want to point something out uh, that I forgot to mention to you earlier, and that is this. Uh, this shaming tactic <clears throat> should not really be referred to, such, referred to as such. It is an attempt to shame, but there's something about it that we tend to forget, and that is that there's nothing to be ashamed of when you become you come to an awareness of a danger of something and you decide that you're not going to stick your head in the lion's mouth you're not going to stick your hand or your leg in that uh, snake pit um, there's no shame in that and what they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, they're trying to use the natural vulnerability of men because we're human as a, uh, a reason to say, well, you're less than a man. Because you know, a real man would get out there and get hurt again and again and again. And that's really all they're saying to you. They're simply saying that as a man, you don't have the right to avoid the injury. Your job is to be hurt. Your job is to uh, get your butt whooped again and again. Your job is to play the rigged game and just keep on losing because it's rigged and say nothing about the fact that the game was rigged to begin with. One thing that has happened to me was that uh, uh, when I got into fights in high school, um, I think after the last one, I began to slowly lose the ability to feel shame and embarrassment. It wasn't an overnight thing, but I, I had a pretty uh, fairly big fight at age 18. That was my last one. And uh, it, yeah, it did have to do with shade and complexion. I was told after the fact. Um, I fought the guy because he treated me differently than he treated other people and I knew it, I had proof. But I was told later on, well, he treated you differently because uh, you're just not dark enough to scare anybody. But um, one of the things that happened was that over time I began to lose the ability to feel any sort of shame or embarrassment. By the time I was, uh, I was 18 when I had the fight, by the time I was 20, I could not feel shame. So I would not do things that would socially harm me in front of other people, but it had more to do with practical um, and self-defense reasons than anything else. But what this also did was that it allowed me to, uh, to speak freely, in a sense, and to be able to choose um, more objectively whether or not I should say something or keep quiet. Losing the ability to feel shame and embarrassment um, allowed me to say many things that before I would not have been able to say or would not have even thought about saying, but rather would have thought about simply avoiding anybody else bringing up. So if my pants fell down right now in front of people, I would be angry that my pants failed me. I would probably burn the belt in the pants but I wouldn't be able to feel embarrassment, especially for something that I didn't have control over. So even though I can feel fear still, and I can feel to a certain extent guilt, even that's hindered, um, I simply cannot feel shame and embarrassment. If I had control over something, I'm capable of feeling guilt if I did wrong. I'm capable of feeling sympathy for people. But shame and embarrassment, no. No, because if I'm not guilty, then there's nothing to feel. You're not guilty because anybody decided to stand you up on a date. You're not guilty because anybody lied to you about what it was that they wanted in the opposite gender. If you're a woman and men did this to you and you did not provoke it, you're not guilty for it. If you're a man and women did this to you and you did not provoke it, you're not guilty for it. What's funny about it though, is that at the end of the day, nobody wants to sit up and say that men are not guilty because the woman decided to not show up for the date. Nobody wants to sit up and say that men are not guilty because they don't know what women want because no woman actually sat down and told them the effing truth. 
that other women were hiding. No one is sitting up and saying that if a woman did hurt you or if a bunch of women hurt you and you don't know what the reason was because no one told you, you're not guilty for it. So when they come along and they say, well, you're avoiding X, Y and Z, who hurt you? If anyone did hurt you, whether it was no one that did it, whether it was 10 women that did it. Understand this, whatever reaction you choose to give them, you must keep in mind that they're attempting to use it as a shaming tactic and you don't have a reason to be ashamed if you are not guilty. My cousin, my female cousin, got married. Turns out this dude was abusive. I felt guilty because as her Wali, I'd given approval for the marriage. I didn't know how this dude was. I didn't know anything about it until she decided to leave this cat and then she told me. <laughs> Other than that, I would have had no clue. Now, um, she has no reason to feel guilty. At that point, she had no reason to feel guilty. She did not hit herself. She did not choke herself. She did not abuse herself. This was something that he did to her. Consequently, I don't see a reason that she should feel embarrassed. I don't see a reason that she should feel guilty. She simply did not do any of these things. So when she's somewhat withdrawn and reserved now, if someone were to say to her, who hurt you? They would not be capable of embarrassing her because number one, she's not guilty. But number two, there is never any sort of embarrassment for women when men hurt them. That's the other thing in our society. If a man hurts a woman, no one looks to her and says, well, look what you did. Look what you didn't know. Look how trusting you were. Look how, look how you gave him a chance. No, see, they don't say that. The understanding is, look at this vile man, this vile male with the penis. And look at this innocent woman. And how dare he enjoy these orgasms in her. And he didn't suffer a whole lot in exchange for that. That's what the idea is. He didn't lose $3 billion for that orgasm. He didn't lose custody of kids. But he had the orgasms, though. That's really what the idea is. So when what happens when it's you and you're a man and, and you have been hurt? If you have not been hurt or if you have been hurt, the idea is that you're supposed to feel ashamed because you can feel hurt. So it's a double uh, edged sword. If you can't feel hurt, it's because you're a man and you're insensitive anyway. So there's no reason. And if you can feel hurt, it's because you're not a man. So why should they have ever been with you in the first place? Do you understand now? But this is not a question that's OK to ask ladies when they decide that they're going to withdraw and pull back. Maybe a woman could say that, but a man can't come along and say something like that. And this is one of the things that you have to understand. They are embarrassing you because they have walls and barriers they might have to go over to get to you if they even can. Really to get to your wallet. But how dare you have these walls? It's their job to have the walls up and the barriers for you to have to jump over trying to get to their vagina. Not the reverse. You better not have anything up like that. Even if they've been uh, even if they've been hurting you in series, one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other, and and not stopping and not and you not having breaks in between, and I can tell you now, as a man, I noticed the pattern a long time ago. What is it that they're not willing to do? What is it that they insist on uh, doing in every case? Putting up some kind of wall, some sort of barrier, some sort of difficulty. What is it that and in every case, every single time there was someone else that did not have to go through these same things? You've been through it. I've been through it. Some of you were the guys for whom they were doing everything, for whom there was no wall and barrier for uh, you to uh, surpass because you were the ones who were allowed to have your own walls and barriers and they would just try to get over them. Some of you have this had have this experience, but you saw what they were doing with other guys that were chasing behind them. You were the guy they were with when her phone rang and uh, she didn't want to answer. And she would reluctantly answer and say, I can't talk right now. Why are you tripping? Why are you so insecure? No, I'm not cheating. Some of you were that guy. So you know how it is. There is nothing to be ashamed of. 
and all they want is for you to be ashamed when you had no control over their decisions in the first place. That's it. Whatever your reaction is, make this the basis and the bottom line understanding for it. I hope that what I've said is a benefit. Hopefully it won't be true anymore one day, but I doubt it. So, black heart sign and black out. Asalaamu Alaikum. And just to tick off the feminist black male power.